हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माई इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस ऑनरेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट द डिजाइन ऑफ अ फ्यूल ऑयल बूस्टर एंड द फ्यूल ऑयल पंप व्हाट इज द डिजाइन डिफरेंस ऑफ अ फ्यूल ऑयल बूस्टर ऑफ अ एम इंजन एंड द फ्यूल ऑयल पंप ऑफ द एम सी इंजन आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी व्हाट आर द डिजाइन डिफरेंस ऑफ द एम सी इंजन एग्जॉस्ट वाल्व एंड द एम ई इंजन एग्जॉस्ट वाल्व आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी टू सी द डायग्राम दैट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंस एंड हाउ डज द HPS hydraulic power supply look like so friend today video is going to be interesting please watch till end i guarantee after the, watching the video you will know that what are the changes which are made in a exhaust valve fuel pump and the fuel booster unit so let's start the today video as you know this is the hydraulic cylinder unit which i have explained in my last part in the last part i have explained that how this scu unit is designed and what are the different valve arrangement if you want to know about that please see the description box you will find the link below now this scu basically consists of two part fuel oil booster and the exhaust valve actuator which is been backed or controlled by this feva valve proportionate valve which will receive its signal from ccu and based on signal it will operate now this scu basically the fuel oil booster part look like this this part this part basically look like this from the inside so from the inside it look like this this is the servo oil actuator part it means that the oil for of 200 bar will come from here and it will push the piston up this piston up causing this fuel oil plunger to move from this position to this position causing the fuel to be inject into the fuel injector from here so this is going to fuel injector so what is happening the hydraulic oil of 200 bar is coming from the feva valve to this position which is pushing the plunger on the top in this direction and causing the oil to discharge from here to the fuel injector now this is the suction valve what is the proper purpose of the suction valve when when this piston is in this position at that time while moving down while moving down what will happen while moving down this position the suction valve will get open and the oil will come and flow in and will take the space when it is actuated that oil will be pushed causing the suction valve to close and to inject the fuel in the fuel injector once more i will tell you what is happening that when the piston is in this position at that time or in this position depending upon the engine load the suction valve will open and the oil from here will flow that is the suction port from here is waiting when it is going down it is creating a vacuum and the oil will flow from here to the inside causing the oil to accumulate now when it is getting actuated from the hydraulic actuator when the feva valve is actuating at that time the oil is getting pushed while being it pushed up at that time the suction valve will close against the discharge pressure and the remaining oil will flow from here to the air this is high pressure pipe to the fuel injector so one thing you need to see that there is no discharge valve so the booster unit is simple assembly now this whole plunger position up and down will be monitored by a feedback sensor this feedback sensor will monitor that whether the plunger is moving up and down if it is not moving it will given alarm so this is a me engine fuel oil booster unit now let's see the old design of a mc engine so this is the discharge valve this is the plunger this is the erosion plug and this is the roller guide arrangement so what is happening the cam is getting actuated when the cam is coming at its peak when the cam is coming at the peak it is pushing the roller on the top causing the plunger to move in a upward direction while the plunger is moving upward direction 
the oil is getting pressurized against the discharge valve. This discharge valve will only be open when when the pressure is reached up to a design point. Now, in some case, the problem was coming that some case the discharge valve was getting stuck and all that problem and the ruler guide is getting broken. So, and the design was very complex. Now, this place it will consist of two rack arrangement. One is for VIT and one is for fuel rack in order to control the timing. So, from this complex design, we have shifted to this easier design. And there is no feedback sensor which will give us the idea whether there is any type of plunger stuck movement there is or not. On the top, there is a puncture valve is provided which is basically helping to sort in case of an emergency to stop the pumping in the fuel injection. So this is how the board design is differ from each other. Now let's move to the thing. Now this is how the hydraulic HCU look like. Now I have showed you this this thing. Now in actual it look like this. This is the fuel booster. This is the exhaust actuator. This is the alpha lubricator. This is the accumulator. The accumulator will sit here. Okay. This is the FIVA valve block and the FIVA valve is here. This is the valve block which will sit here and this is how in a close look this is a block which will sit here along with this and this is the bottom portion of this you can see this side bottom portion. So here goes the fuel booster, here goes the exhaust actuator, here goes the alpha lubrication, here goes the accumulator, this is the bottom portion look like this, the, here goes the FIVA valve proportionate control valve which will look like this and this is a block which will sit here. So this is how it whole thing look like. Now we come to the exhaust valve design. So this is the old design of the MC engine. Before old design, let me talk about the new design. So this is how the new design of the ME engine look like. So as you can see, the exhaust valve is actuated by the exhaust valve actuator. The exhaust valve actuator is a very simple assembly. It is a plunger. When it is moving up, it is developing oil and that oil will be causing the exhaust valve to open. The oil for actuation is coming from bottom via FIVA valve which will cause it to actuate. The oil which is on top of the hydraulic push rod is getting accumulated on the top. When the FIVA valve is getting activated, it is pushing the servo oil which causing the oil which is getting accumulated on the valve actuator to push through push rod and activate the exhaust valve. Now the exhaust valve has also undergone several design changes. We will talk in the next slide. Now the same thing which is being controlled from the exhaust valve actuator is controlled via roller guide arrangement. So this is you see this is a cam, this is a roller and this is the cam. So the cam when committed bit it will push the roller on top which will go against the spring pressure, which will go against the spring pressure and cause it will go against the spring pressure and cause the actuator to push and causing the oil to push the exhaust valve in an open position. So the roller guide arrangement with the spring is been replaced by a simple FIVA valve servo oil arrangement. So this complex arrangement is been replaced by this FIVA valve actuated arrangement. Rest this actuation process is same. Now let's see what are the changes in design. Now the air spring area of old and new if we compare then 
the size of the air spring this is the size of a air spring of old and this is the size of a air spring piston mc engine have a larger air spring area compared to the me engine it means that the me engine is designed such a way that the small air spring piston is sufficient enough to close the exhaust valve and in mc engine we need a large air spring piston and area to close the spring valve now exhaust valve now along with that if you carefully see this area there is a lot changes in design this whole area is now bit become more conical compared to cylindrical and the damping piston has moved upward compared to this where it is downward along with that if we have a closer look of the new mc design then you can see there is a one feedback sensor is installed whenever the exhaust valve is open in this direction at that time what is happening the sensor will is detecting whether the exhaust valve is opening or not how now you can see here there is a conical shaped type of hydraulic nut which is been installed along with the spindle so when the pitch, when the rod is moving down at that time the interface between the hydraulic nut and the measuring cone or you can say the measuring cone and the sensor is getting changed it means that what i mean to say now suppose this is the position of the sensor now when this thing come here this will be the thing so what is happening the distance between the cone is slowly slowly getting increased so what is happening based on that the signal proximity sensor is sensing whether the exhaust valve is getting open or not and based on that it is giving signal exhaust valve opening is proper or not along with that i have told you the air spring is smaller the cone is been provided along with the feedback sensor and this is the sealing oil now the hydraulic oil loop this part now i will show you this is the hydraulic power supply unit this is the electrical driven pump two in number this is a three axial pump which is engine driven with the help of a step up gear arrangement by via crankshaft it means that this axial pump is reaching its desired speed by the help of a gear drive which is stepped up via gear arrangement so friend in today video if you have learned something then please don't forget to subscribe and share friend my engineer hub make this video which is beneficial for your examination oral and for your sip services so please do share and don't forget to subscribe thank you friend have a good day